All right, calisthenics for aesthetics, episode three. So today I wanna to go over some variations that you can use to help your back development. Again, I'm not talking about bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is a whole separate discipline about maximizing your muscular development, but we can take some tips from bodybuilding and apply it to uh, our calisthenics and uh, use that to build an aesthetic back. So if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I think the pull-up is pretty much the greatest back exercise in existence. And I don't wanna to be too redundant, so I'm gonna show you just some favorite variations for emphasizing the back, and then I'll talk about rows and um, an accessory movement I think that is really useful. So before I get into that, I want you to know that the key to really developing your back comes down to grip orientation and technique. And for grip, you're mainly gonna to wanna to turn your palms away from you, do a pronated grip, on your pulling movements. And this the reason is because it puts the biceps in a weaker position to pull. That means your back is gonna have to handle more of the work. Now, technique, I think, is where the real secret lies. So I've done pull-ups for like 25 years and I've done several years of weightlifting and I built up a pretty strong back, but my back never looked particularly good. In fact, uh, for a long time, it didn't even look like I trained it, even though I did. And I think it wasn't until like a few years ago when I really started to slow down my pull-ups and focus on my form, really work on squeezing my chest up, squeezing my shoulder blades back and down, that my back actually started to develop in a way that uh, was aesthetic and looked like I actually trained it finally. <laughs> so literally doing pull-ups this way led to better back development than working up to a 500 pound deadlift. That's no joke. So if you wanna grow a strong looking back, stop chasing reps, Slow, slow your movement down, squeeze your chest up, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and really feel the muscle and work on that mind-muscle connection. And also, move through full range of motion. So we know that moving through full range of motion means more muscle growth, plus you get a stretch at the bottom of your pull-ups, which can also help facilitate some muscle growth. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's look at the first movement, which is the wide grip pull-up. So you can see with this that I'm using that proper grip orientation that I referred to earlier and full range of motion, plus I'm using that technique and you can see the amount of contraction I'm getting in my back, like the entire back is contracting, including the traps, the posterior delts and the lats, of course. But for me, this movement I think was the game changer and probably uh, the single biggest, um, the single most helpful variation I did to help develop that mind-muscle connection and grow uh, my back specifically. Next up is the shoulder width pull-up. I like this movement because it puts the lats through a pretty huge range of motion and lets you get a nice stretch at the bottom. And the more range of motion, the more stretch you get, the more muscle you can build. So uh, again, this variation has that pronated grip. And again, I'm using the same technique, squeezing my chest up, pulling my shoulders back and down, pausing at the top to really feel the muscles working and feel them contracting. And that is how you grow a good back. So if you train with rings, you can use the same strategy. You can go wide grip and uh, shoulder width grip with a pronated, uh, pronated grip. And I also like the neutral grip for the rings that I'm showing here. It uses a little bit more bicep than some of the other variations, but it's still gonna heavily involve the back. And I really like, I really like this movement because I've always felt like a really, really good back contraction with it. So I find it really useful despite the change in the, the grip position. Okay, so now let's talk about rows. Not the biggest fan of rows because they don't train the lats through a full range of motion. They kind of like train the lats through half of their range of motion. But they can really be useful for strengthening the traps and some of the muscles around the scapula if you do them right and you get a good squeeze. And you're gonna wanna use the same cues you, uh, that I recommended for the pull-ups. So I think they're a really useful accessory movement. And if you do them, pull from a variety of angles. So raise your feet on some rows, feet on the ground on other rows, raise your rings on some rows, lower your rings on others so that you can train your pulling muscles in a lot of different angles and kind of hit the musculature from uh, a lot of different positions. Okay, finally, I like the Superman as an exercise to hit the spinal erectors because uh, that area is often neglected in calisthenics, but it doesn't just hit the spinal erectors, it also hits the traps and it's a great way to build mind-muscle connection not only in the, the traps, but the entire back. So really useful, especially if you do a lot of core work like planks or something like that. This works the opposite side of the body. So definitely something to throw in there as a finisher. 
Okay, so to sum it up, the key to using these basic exercises to build an aesthetic back, uh, it's gonna align your grip and it's gonna align your technique with special emphasis on technique. So stop chasing numbers, build the mind-muscle connection, go for perfect reps, squeeze the shoulder blades back and down and keep your chest up. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it, please subscribe, and I will talk to you next time.